What does being a uh, MyPad honorary for 2018, what does that mean to you? It means being able to have the opportunity to help change the world in ways where you have a, a small community in which that can help empower that. If I could say anything right now, it is that keep doing what you're doing and literally don't hold anything back. If you hold something back, you're holding back something for humanity. And my name is Camille Olufobi and I am privileged to be the CEO of this group and I'm joined here by my colleague, the beautiful Nikki Mundabi. Please give her a round of applause. Very often, we, the less young, tend to have our own agenda and then ask the youth to come and speak in our own terms. So it's refreshing to have a young leader working tirelessly to bring the youth to the fore. And that's Camille who has been making such a tremendous difference. I think that we all owe him a vote of thanks before we even start the program here. <laughs> Well, for me, um, it has to do with this feeling of connection. So uh, one thing that's so important is understanding that we can build a new Africa when we incorporate all of the extensions and branches of Africa which are in diaspora. My identity is that I'm from the African diaspora with a U.S. passport as an accident of a slave ship. <laughs> Nobody asked my ancestors where they wanted to go. They just wound up in New Jersey. Feeling good tonight. Got me thanking God for life. I can't explain. Well, she's a very sweet, very humble woman. Um, I've done them for a, a bit now, the couple. And um, at the inauguration, I said, This is the beginning of a new Africa. There is no woman on this planet at who does not want to see their husband, their brother, or their father succeed. So when you empower a woman, you have empowered the whole continent. We need to now start having African first ladies, not just first ladies. But we need to have African first ladies that believe in the vision of African development. We need to have African first ladies that think beyond the glamour of just the siren and the security around them. Because the greatest advisor to a president is their wives. I'm thinking of love.